dog's calls here. Or at least the cattle appetite. Taking a long time. 
doing what I want, even. Too long. Even? It's cold. And it's getting colder. Oh, tons of things take time. Dying takes time, you know. But it can only be deliciously drawn out for so long. Until it too must reach an end. You have? Describe her to me. Well, she sounds great. Thank you for this. It will enhance my stratagems for sure. That's right, and it's been educational. They all seem to be stuck in the same chaotic squabbling roles they have had since they were children. Nanny was wise to order me not to take any signs. I see that now. Here, I would like to give you a token of my appreciation with my thanks. Even noticed her small companion looked like he had something he wanted to say. Card enthusiast and living store at your service. What were we talking about again? That finger, it reminds me of something. It was the fight with the the king, and he and I. And we... Ugh, I, I'm afraid it's gone. But it's become clearer. Bring me more. I need more to remember. What were we talking about again? Oh, that portrait of the children, the triplets, and their father, their poor father, the king, killed, killed while I... while he... Uh, I can't remember. I need more. 
More objects to jog my poor memory. What were we talking about again? My arm. I remember. I wore this. I used this to help defend the king when he... On that night when he... But then it... Ugh. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Please bring me more objects. I'm so close to remembering. I can feel it. What were we talking about again? By the dice maker. I remember this. It came for us so quickly, so savage, we couldn't... Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue and then it's gone. It's... I'm sorry, even. What were we talking about? Please, even. Bring me more artifacts. They each help, but together I'm sure I can... I'm sure I can remember something. What were we talking about again? Yes, even. You've... you've done it. Seeing them all together, I... I remember everything. Oh, by the dice maker, you've saved me. Which one of you pranksters rang the bell? I knew it was a trap! Assassins! Oh, trap, ah, Shush, children! Mishka! You're alive! You should all be ashamed to have disgraced your father's beloved freedom so, and how proud he was of you. But bloody this is just not how he raised you. <laughs> Listen. I was there that doomed night when your father was murdered. And Ishka the bodyguard recounted vividly what had happened that night. It was a tale of a god lady gone awry, of a blade against mechanical arm, and of a cold-blooded murder. I was going to roll my dice. Well, that's how fights were done in those days. But this murderer didn't play by the rules. My trusty arm was cut off. I returned the favor and tore off the perpetrator's finger. And that perpetrator was the Shadow Man. Busted. Bernie! Oh, hey, even there you are. I should have been there to guide you all. I went mad with guilt for failing your father, and I ran away. I am so sorry. And uh, it appears that this war might have been for naught. This war was all because you three never talked to each other? You people are the worst! Thanks for the outfit, Bernie. You think you'll be okay now? Sure thing. I can find my way home to one cross with my eyes closed. Easy peasy. Don't worry, even. I'll make sure he gets home. And good luck to you. Uh, I'm not good at goodbyes. Say hi to Odd. Oh, I almost forgot. You like pips, right? This is all that was left of Mr. Shady when you poofed him. Weird, huh? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Hey, hey guys. All right. <sighs> Here goes nothing. Hey, even. I'm fine, I'm fine. Thanks for saving me, by the way. It was really cold in that... That thing. I gotta say, I never thought I'd be saved. I wish I had. Well, I mean, no, I don't wish I had. Because being a Sixer is supposed to be magical, but that nanny was just really mean to everyone. So it's good that I haven't seen her, because that means the nanny hasn't gotten her. At least, not yet. 
I'm sorry, even. It's been a crazy day. I just want to go home. Sure, I'll tell him. I just hope your dad isn't still mad at me for breaking that teapot. Whoa! <laughs> then he won't be mad at me at all. <laughs> okay, then. Sure, I'll tell him. No problem. Oh, man. <laughs> fine, fine. Uh, I'll tell him. But he better be so happy to hear from you that he won't be mad at me. Well, bye. Uh, oh, even? Uh, before I go, I just wanted to say, I hope you find your sister soon. I always liked her, even. I'm sure she's safe. She can defend herself. After all, she's a great puncher. <laughs> I just want to be a kid again. I don't want to have to worry about people trying to put me in their rib cage. Bye! And <laughs> don't call me kid. We're practically the same age. There you are. I am. At least, I mostly am. And the war that's torn apart this family is finally over. You did good, even. But you need to move on. I have the feeling other people need you. And I'll miss you. What did you say your name was, little girl? I'm just having some fun with you, even. Now go. Run along now. Nishka has things she needs to do. Dice, come on! You want to trade your cards? I know you do.
Gorgas, Gorgas, the Mohanic. Oh, I didn't think it was possible, but I ate too much candy. Oh, scan animal naked. Oh, my school hammer for long. Don't forget, man, I call it. Look at Mona, it's come with Hannah. Too full to move. Without candy? How are you going to save anyone without candy? Do you have candy? We had lots of candy in Five Tropolis, but not anymore. How are you going to save anyone without candy? I'm scared. My dad told me not to talk to strangers. They are mean here. Have you? Ah, oh, never mind. Trade it here for a new one with me, old Manny Dex. Puppies, kittens, rainbows, um, puppies on rainbows with, with kittens. Yes! Oh yes, that's a very happy thought. Thank you. If I fill my head with happy thoughts, there will be no room for sad thoughts about reality. My mom taught me that, back in Fort Town. She grew up during the war. The big one. I miss her so much. I thought this would be fun. But... But... Lemonade on a hot day. Getting tucked into bed. A nice warm blanket on a cold night. How come? Do you have any happy thoughts? Things being better forever. That's a happy thought. Things being better forever! With ice cream and puppies and hugs and moms and dads and families and cookies and kittens and cookies shaped like kittens and made out of ice cream! They have unicorn ponies in Six Town. I heard they have robot buddies in Six Town, and everyone gets a robot buddy, and you can buzz around your robot buddy. I heard the Queen has her own magical dream world, where we all get to play, and our dreams come true. What are you doing here? What does it look like? I'm Nanny Fortuna's favourite, so I'm the most important kid. Yes, it is good for me. I always knew I was a sixer, and finally, the rest of the world is acting like it. Honestly, some of the kids here, you can put them in a sixer uniform, but you can't change who they are, and... Wait a minute, even, even, it's me, Lucky from One Town. What are you doing here? From what? We're gonna be sixers even, for real. Who'd want to be saved from that? Wait a second, you're not even 12 yet. You're too young to be here. 
You're an imposter. No, you listen, even. I rolled the quince dice to get here, and you're... You're a cheater. You don't belong here. You're an imposter. You're an imposter. I'm telling. Nanny. Nanny Fortuna. Nanny Fortuna. What? No! Hey, dice. Impossible. The queen destroyed them all. Where did you find that? Tell me. No, you tell me where my sister is, you witch! Oh! <laughs> you are the sister, aren't you? All alone, far from home. <laughs> <laughs> Brave help. Nanny's gonna make you yell. gonna miss you. Nanny's gonna crush you under her shadow. Let me give you some advice. Give your nanny all the dice!
Little child gone and lost. You've just made your nanny cross. Little girl, better off dead. I'll take your dice and I'll eat you. Two sisters, both alike in dignity. But within one woman lies dark malignity.
Fun and games till one is gone. Some creeping darkness lately spawned. Retributions to change the past. New rules to make the present last. Death and ruin for those who oppose. As went the sister, so the whole world goes. I... I, I don't think I can do this. You can, and you will. The sacrifice is necessary. But I don't want to. The dice demands it. Sometimes we must set aside what we want, in order to get what we need. Push her over, Odd. Push her over, or I'll let the dice decide whether you should take her place! Odd, please, I'm sorry I was mean to you, and your sister. Odd. Please, you can't do this, you can't! You're running out of time, Odd. Why did you, why did you do you Dicey? Dicey! Even knew she had to find her missing friend. She gathered her courage, square her shoulders, and I just want to go home. <sighs> and realize that she just wanted to go home. Oh, but home was very far away. She had no idea how to get there. Are you in there? Oh! <gasps> 
even found herself approaching the edge of Forberg, or rather, the silent remains of that once glorious city. The queen had torn it to pieces during the war, years ago, in her mad search for something. The only trace of it at all were the ruined and lifeless stones, shrouded in fog, lost to memory. To even, it was like an impossible vision. Something she could scarcely believe. A rebuilt fort town, squatting by the ruins of what came before. A city without history, but who called it home? Step right up, step right up! Taste black, diluvelly, diluvelly. Hey, what the? Oh, you and cheated me! Prove it! Ain't no laws come in Come on, come on, come on, show kid. me what you got, what you got! I'm cheating! Someone told me for my son a real no, dog. I'm a teacher, <laughs> and it's your right. first lesson, kid. I'd like to see that. trust anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, foreburners and foreigners, I present to you for the first time on the casino main stage, a real What manner of destruction will it unleash upon these fighting grounds? What rules and norms will it tear asunder as its true power is finally unleashed? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> when I roll them bones! Why isn't it doing anything? Come on, give it a kick! Oh, worthless! Dicey! I'm not leaving here without you, Dicey. Leave him alone. This dice is under my protection. Ah, what a fine job you've been doing of it too. But I am always up for a gamble. Gentlemen, the death match is about to begin. Please. Get the 
dies, but when you lose, I get you both. That's so fast. That's life in former kin. that this wasn't even a dice after all. What we have here is just a broken old jack-in-the-box. <laughs> He's mine. Give him back. You want this garbage back? Yes, and he's not garbage. Well, go get it. I should have never put you in danger. We don't belong here, and I just, I just want to go home. Did someone say, smuggle me home? Because you, little lady, are in the presence of Ludo Betts, the greatest person smuggler in all of Random. Y you trust me, right? I could ask you the same thing. Let's just say I'm old enough to be great at it and young enough that nobody suspects me. You see, I've got my bag. Top of the line, nothing so fine, purely benign. It's bigger on the inside. Me and my brother can fit anyone inside. I'm uh, oh, sorry, I mean I can. My brother, Bruno, I lost him to the high roller, who I'm betting you know. We gambled, we lost, and now he owns him. And you, well, you've got yourself a real dice, which means you have a real chance to free Bruno. Do that, and I'll be real motivated to do you a favor in turn. You named it? Wow. Oh, it takes all kinds, I guess. 
Look, the high roller seems all high and mighty, but he's got a weakness. It's in his name. Roll a higher number than his and he'll lose everything. You just gotta fix your dice up. And you're gonna let that stand? Take revenge, show him who's boss, solve both our problems in one fell swoop, fix your dice and beat the high roller. Then you'll save Bruno and I swear on my eyes that I'll let you inside my bag and me and my brother will take you anywhere you want. Anywhere. Even had no idea where she could find more darts for her dice. So she fell back to exploring. It had gotten her this far at least, which, if we're being precise, is to a point where she no longer wanted to explore. Look, life's complicated sometimes. Oh, there, stranger. I've played enough dives in my time to see that you could use a friend. Now that's the first step, friend. To figuring out what you do want. There was a time I wanted to get back home too. Back when I traveled the six wards, singing for my supper, and every night as I took in the applause, whether it was there or not, I think this is it. It's time for me to go back home. And every morning I'd get up and go somewhere new and start the whole thing all over again. But now, of course, I figure I didn't actually want to go back home. Not really, anyway. Didn't know what real longing was till I came here. Ah, oh, heck, I do now. All because of the foreman. He came here and took over right quick. No one could roll a higher number than him. Well, except for Her Majesty, of course. I refused to play for him, and he smashed my fingers up real nice so I couldn't play for anyone. But, yeah, that's no bother. I still remember my songs. They're all right here. You see? In my heart. Well, silver linings, friend. Now, I can live my days without expectation. Ain't nobody expecting nothing from a man on the street with busted hands. Did you know the foreman's a relative of Nanny Fortuna? That's how come he can keep himself out of jail despite all the heretical dice rolling around here. Well, it figures it runs the family friend, but I'm just sharing hearsay here, and who knows what's actually true these days. Well, would you look at that? I haven't seen one of your kind in years. Quite the charmer, too. But looks like you're a bit worse for wear, if you don't mind me saying. I have no doubt that you will, stranger. I can see it in your eyes. You're not the kind of girl who lets the world push her around for long. You'd think all that power would make the foreman happy, but I reckon now he's just afraid of losing it. He's turned this whole town into a reflection of that. And yet, in the middle of it all is a small little dark alley where you can be safe and see the world as it truly is. All that power in the world. It don't mean a thing, even, next to the people you love. The world's got its fair share of horror, but beauty, too. And we just have to do the best we can with the cards we're dealt. I know you'll do good out there. Ah, shucks. An old man like me gets a lucky guess once in a while. Not even the four man could take that from us. Glad you're well, friend. Oh, it was a nice moment of fellowship and kindness. 
in a town that had not shown her much. Even was thankful for that. the saddest story in the world. 